What's up YouTube? Wing Zero from Gundam Gaming here. Today we're looking at Flamingo Hotel's two queen, two bunk room. We'll go over pricing, what's in the room, and if it's good enough value for you to book it. So when people stay in Las Vegas, a lot of times they're looking for a good value hotel that has the amenities for a comfortable stay. That's where the Flamingo's two queen, two bunk room comes in. I'll show you the layout of the room, but before we take a look at it, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss out on any future videos. So we stayed on the ninth floor, room 40 in the main tower. This is one of the flamingo style rooms. The room is 515 square feet. The two beds consist of queen size bottom bunks and full size top bunks. There's a six drawer push button storage here. And the room's also furnished with a chase lounge that seats four to six people. Be advised it's not a pullout bed, just a regular chase lounge. And here's the door to the adjoining room. We have a 55 inch flat screen. Here's the storage unit with a cordless hotel phone and ice bucket. Now I've heard a lot of people say that rooms in Flamingo did not come with a fridge or that it was an extra charge. I've personally stayed in about 10 different rooms and they've all had mini fridges and this one is no exception. In the middle, you have your safe and some storage space. And here on the left is even more storage space. I also wanted to show you that this isn't a mini bar, but an actual fridge. So it's a decent size. You can get a few cans, bottles of water, or even like a half gallon of juice in there. And if you stayed at the Flamingo before, you can tell that these are the more recently renovated rooms. So they're not like the kitschy go rooms. Over here is a wet bar next to the vanity area. Good lighting and a huge mirror. Now over to the bathroom, we have the sliding barn door. There's great lighting in here, huge fog resistant mirror. We have your hand soap and lotion dispensers, an area for your towels and washcloths. They've also moved to the eco-friendly option of having a body wash, shampoo and conditioner dispensers. They also have a rain shower head for those calming showers. Across from the bathroom, we have the closet. That's a normal hotel closet. We have the iron, ironing board, and luggage rack. Shelf space on top, and a small chest area for maybe putting extra clothes in. I almost forgot to mention, on each top bunk, they have these running lights as well as electrical outlets and USB chargers for your cell phones and other gadgets. So, on to the view. It wasn't that great. Being on the ninth floor, we had a view of the Cromwell's parking garage and some air conditioners. And if you look over there, you can just about catch a glimpse of Caesar's Palace. And looking over here to the left, we've got Bally's, which should be changing its name to the Horseshoe soon. And behind that, you can see the Paris Hotel and the tip top of the Eiffel Tower back there. As far as pricing, it's about $192 on average, around $120 most Sundays and Mondays to over $300 on weekends. That's the biggest caveat with this room type. The bunk bed rooms are extremely tough to book on the weekends. Most Fridays and Saturdays are already sold out through October of 2022. So if you're interested in this room, the earlier you can book, the better. But there you have it. That was the Flamingo's two queen, two bunk room. If you found this information helpful, please take a second to leave a like or comment. It really helps me out. And if you want me to continue doing videos like this, let me know down in the comments with where you'd like me to try next. I'm thinking I'll try to do more Caesars properties in the near future, but in either case, let me know. This has been Wing Zero. Thanks for watching.